You are now in the Mission Operations Room. This is the command center where flight engineers communicate with Hubble. Every day they send commands to Hubble's computers to perform daily tasks, such as coordinating the science instruments. They also retrieve all of Hubble's science and engineering data and make sure that none of it is missing or corrupted. The flight engineers are also responsible for monitoring the 10,000 plus items in that engineering data to make sure that Hubble is operating safely and properly. If something isn't working correctly, they follow prepared contingency plans. Right now, the team is doing routine activities that include uplinking orbit information and clearing memory on the spacecraft for new messages. Prior to 2011, this room was staffed 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But now, most of the daily functions are automated and it is only staffed eight hours a day, five days a week. If a problem comes up while the team is not present, they receive notifications in their cell phones, which they can use to access some of the spacecraft information and determine how serious the issue is. Depending on the severity, they may have to come into this room to address the issue. As you look around, you will see a large screen with a graphical display of Hubble that is driven with real-time data. It includes accurate star charts, the Earth's position, the Sun's location, and other environmental data to allow the team to see how Hubble is oriented. An operations clock in the corner of the room can be set to track the length of an event or simply display the current time in universal time, a standard time used in astronomy and spacecraft operations. A model of the main spacecraft computer sits in the back of the room. The actual computer on Hubble manages the spacecraft's daily functions, such as its power, communications, and pointing and it monitors the health of the spacecraft. It's also programmed to put Hubble into a safe state and be ready to talk to the ground if a major problem occurs. An engineering model of the spacecraft is also in the back of the room, which flight engineers can use for reference if they need to.